heading down to Calton County, where more than 80% of people living there still without power. News 2's Katie Van Vangsa visited one of the cities in the area and has an update on damages there. The city of Walterboro is currently picking up after last night's storm. Down trees and power lines are continuing to be removed. Crews are still working to clear debris from the roadways. Overnight and into this morning, several tornado warnings went off in the area, causing widespread damage. Uh, currently, we have about 265 reports of damage. And, and to kind of give you an idea on that, with Tropical Storm Debbie, we had um, 305. So it was a, 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 you know, a countywide event, really. Down trees have led to power outages across the area, which officials tell us might persist. Uh, Dominion has told us that this will be a multi-day um, process to get the power back on. So they didn't say how many days, but you know normally they're really quick, and and we're back we're back up and running um, in a day or two. Thankfully, officials say there have been no injuries, and crews have been out checking on residents since early this morning. You know, people uh, heard pops throughout the night. We'd go out and go check some residents, you know, with their air conditioners or breaker boxes, things like that. Though the mayor says they have their work cut out for them, the cleanup process has begun. Our citizens have already started cleaning up. If you ride around, you'll see um, that they are getting the yards cleaned up. They'll be piling it up beside the road and the city will come by and pick it up. The city and its residents are continuing to clean up until power is restored. Reporting in Walterboro, I'm Katie Fongongsa, Count on 2. Neighbors up.